Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Today we're filming on location at Manhattan Reptile World. I'm here with Colin, who you hey. may know from Classy Herps if you ever watched that channel. And we're going to talk about some things we don't keep, namely reticulated pythons. And what you're seeing here, this is a baby, am I right Colin? Yeah, yeah. So this is nothing like what you're going to deal yeah. with. So when you go in that pet store and you pick up that cute retic, that's crawling up my arm right now, you're going to not deal with this, you're going to deal with something a little bit larger, right? Yeah, that's fresh out of the egg. That's what they start out looking like. Okay, let's toss this one back. Colin's going to grab you what's one of my personally, my favorite snakes in this entire shop. And that is... What kind of morph we got here, Colin? This is a lavender albino. I've had him since he was a little baby, and he's only about six months old right now. But I say he's about six feet long. And uh, as you can see, they grow very fast. So fast, you can you can check on them every day and notice it sometimes. But uh, yeah, as you can see, his temperament's great. They just never want to stop moving. Now this lavender albino, guys, I remember when this first came out. I was a kid, and I used to get Reptiles magazine. Oh, here, let me hold it. And this was a holy grail for me. Bob Clark produced the first ones, and they were on the cover of Reptiles. And when I saw that lavender and that yellow, and look at that outline. They were just so, so gorgeous. This was the first snake that really blew my mind away. And here I am, like a 12-year-old kid, saying, oh, I got to have that. Had no idea what I'd be getting into with a reticulated python. And the price at the time was about $20,000. So it was a little out of range for me as a teenager. But now, every time I get to play with this snake, I just smile like a kid in a candy store because it takes me back to when I first started loving reptiles and seeing those on the cover and just completely being blown away. I was extremely jealous when Colin got one of these. <laughs> so anything else you can tell us about this guy? Um, I don't know, like, he has a great, great temperament and uh, he eats great too. And I had, I don't know, it's a Got a lined up. retic, yeah. One thing about these retics, and you've seen us handle a lot of ball pythons, these remind me more of carpet pythons when you handle, because they're all over the map. They're constantly moving, but unlike a carpet python, I mean, this is about the same length right now as maybe in between my male and my female, which you've both seen. But now let's show you something. Yeah, I just, I'll just put you in my pocket and take you home. Let's show you something that's more of a teenager. This isn't even a full grown retic, and man, let me tell you, this is wild. So if you're going to get into these, be ready for a big, big snake. So this girl over here is only about five years old right now. And she's growing slowly because she doesn't like to eat rabbits, so we have to feed her a lot of big rats. So she could be a lot bigger, but uh, like he said, she's not even mature enough to breed yet. She's literally just a teenager. And, uh, oh, go, ahead. go ahead. You can already see how big she is. <laughs> now, is this a standard retic? Uh, no, this is a tiger reticulated python, which is a co-dominant morph, so if you bred her to another tiger, you could make a super tiger. So. Crazy thing that just happened is they breathe a lot, very heavy. It sounds like they're hissing when they're not, but they're big enough, you can literally feel them blowing air into your ear. Oh yeah, and you can I don't have to it. feel how heavy this girl is here. I'm gonna, she's gonna take my hat off here, I'm gonna see my balding head if we're not careful. Ugh. Going up top. <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing about retics. They're definitely a workout <laughs> when you get them out. Here we go. Got the head over Got here. the head? Yeah. Let me tell you guys, <laughs> she is moving everywhere. Yeah, we'll strap <laughs> her down there. Now I got her. There you go. She weighs, like, you can really feel it how much the snake weighs. It's deceiving. Like, they're, they're just such dense muscle that they weigh way more than they look like they it, do. And one thing, too, when you do deal with these large constrictors, it's always a good idea to have somebody else with you just because they can be more than one person can handle. Oh, yeah. I mean, as you can see, there's nothing you can do if she gets a hold of you, not trying to be mean, just trying to go somewhere. So having an extra set of hands and body parts is always good. So, and I'm six foot two, if you need an idea of how big she is. Yeah. And she's probably about 60 pounds, if I had to guess. Yeah. And just all muscle. All right, Kurt, any questions before I get coiled up by this retic? <laughs> Where are these snakes uh, native? Where are they from? Oh, that's pretty good. I believe they are Southern Asia. Southern Asia. Yeah, they have a really big span of, of the, where they roam. And they also do hold the record for the longest snake in the world. So they are quite big. 
there have been reports of over 30 feet. I believe the longest in captivity is actually right here in Kansas, or maybe in Missouri, but it's in Kansas City, so we're going to claim it at a haunted house right now. So I believe his name is Medusa, memory serves. So very cool. You can see she's got my leg, my arm, around my back, and trying to crawl over to him. Any other questions, Kurt? Um, how long do they live? They can live quite a while like most reptiles. I'm not sure what the current record is. But they're, if you buy one of these, you're going to have a pet for a long time if everything goes as planned. I mean, you need to plan for at least probably 20 years. They never get tired. No. They will wear you out. What else you got for us? With uh, like ball pythons, do these have a lot of different morphs? They do. You've seen a couple of them with the lavender albinos and the tiger. And there's also a super tiger. There is some uh, sun glows and some other things out there. And I don't pretend to be a retech morph specialist. I did want to show you some large ones, but there are a ton of morphs. Not quite as many as ball pythons, but there's enough to definitely keep you interested. Yeah, it's developing right now. They're, they're coming out with new morphs all the time, just like ball pythons. And the way that I think the most recent one that's really caught my attention is the piebald a reticulated python. Seeing, uh, seeing Southern a, Bob Clark, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, seeing a, like, you know, a 20-foot snake that's piebald is just it's breathtaking, honestly. I'll tell you, she is deceptively strong. I can feel her pushing, if you see me rock, it's because she's pushing against him and pushing here. And she's got me, I mean, completely, like, she is a workout. When you get snakes this big, she's, she can, sometimes when you have her around you like that, she's not meaning to by any means constrict you, but just her simply holding on is enough to almost keep you, like, you know. Yeah. Um, you can really feel her pushing against yeah. the artery in her neck, so it's good to toss yeah, her down there. definitely. <laughs> she can, she can, uh do some damage without her even trying so <laughs> yep she's pretty amazing anything else for us kurt and three people know we've heard bob clark mentioned twice that guy is a reticulated king out of oklahoma city so if you get a chance check him out as well any other questions nope i think that's all all right before we go there's something else we want to tell you about it's really exciting you're going to have a new show coming out on a new channel it's called the reptile guy so go ahead and find it on youtube we're going to be doing a live streaming about different reptiles with question and answer it's going to feature people like me Colin, Scaly Dave, if any of you know him here in Manhattan, and a guy I'm just going to refer to as a coach because for some reason his name is Vince Lombardi. And uh, you may have camera guy Kurt making a few appearances on there as well, and who knows who's going to stop by. So make sure to find that channel, subscribe to it now. It's going to be live streaming, and we're going to do it Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central time. Central time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much.